Hello there, Scorpios, and welcome to your October love reading, Scorpio. Uh, heads up, Scorpio, I do have company. I have my uh, another daughter and my grandbaby over. So the two little grandchildren are probably going to be bucking and stomping and all those things like that, uh, just, just for a moment, because she's just briefly stopped by here. Uh, so if you hear any noise in the background, you've been forewarned, okay? So Scorpio, this is your October love reading, Scorpio. So we're going to begin this reading. Now, it's, it's a general, so it's not going to resonate with every single Scorpio that views this video. I am still open for personal readings, uh, 20 minutes for $35. I I do apologize. Uh, I have Sometimes I have to pull my energy back, take a break. Because the personal energies do kind of very emotionally drain into me because it's personal. It's like person to person contact as opposed to the general reading where I'm just pulling it out of air. It could be anyone. But the personal energy, you're vibing from person to person here. So in order to, you know, you know, set boundaries within my own energy so that I'm not overwhelmed because I, I get drained. Uh, I just kind of pull back here, but I do see your emails. I have not forgotten you. It's just taking a little bit long because it's just been a flow of readings coming through a flow of people. You guys are absolutely amazing to all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. I also have to tell you now, October love reading. Uh, as I was pre-shuffling, I see abundance in your energy, Scorpio. I see total fulfillment in your energy for your love, your October love energy reading. But of course, I still see people who want to come back and try to reconcile with the Scorpio, especially getting closer and closer to your birthday because I see that Queen of Wands energy along with the Queen of Pentacles energy. And I even saw the Ten of Pentacles energy. So it's like you're elevating in every aspect of your life. Things that used to matter and bring you down, 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 down are really irrelevant now uh, because... It's just irrelevant, so I'm not going to get ahead of myself, but I pulled out a couple of different uh, card decks here to pull your energy for your October love. And we're going to begin this reading with the fortune cards here. The fortune cards, Scorpio, because I'm going to have to read. I'm only going to pull one card because with these fortune reading cards, they delve a little bit into your love life as well as your uh, your finances and your career. Okay, so let's let's make it do what it do, Scorpio. Uh, shout out to all of the Libras. Uh, I know it's Libra season right about now. So may the universe give you all of your wishes granted. Maybe you, may you be happy. Uh, may, may you join up with like-minded people that you guys can equally give. It doesn't even have to be all about romance. Just, just like-minded, loving energy here. So, but Spirit, we're on Scorpio now, so we're trying to pull the energy for Scorpio for October. We're pulling October love energy for Scorpio Spirit. What is going on with Scorpio in love and in their finances and in their money here? Because you can have all the love you want, but if that money ain't right, it just make everything else not right. At the bottom, you do have the moon card here. So this one says, I'm going to have to put my glasses on, Scorpio. Ooh. It says, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. So I feel like, like I said, you got a lot of exes wanting to come back and spirit is telling you to pay attention to your intuition. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong, Scorpio. Uh, you're going to know who's healed and who's just out just for whatever they want, Scorpio. So uh, that's a side note here, this moon energy. Pay attention to your intuition. Because spirit is always with you, Scorpio, but you have to be able, you have to be connected with your spirit, guys, and your inner voice, says Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, they falling. Ha! <laughs> They're falling, Scorpio. Let me see. Do I want these two cards here? You have eagle and you have plane here. Now, this plane says a journey is indicated either physically or metal, 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 metaphorically. Your life will become more full. So since these two cards came out, I'm going to have to say that these are the two cards that Spirit wants you to know. And then your other card is Eagle. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. So you, you, some of you Scorpios are about to metaphorically elevate and fly high. And some of you Scorpios, look, it's just like you got abundance coming in. You got abundance coming in. This plane energy reminds me of a dream I had many, many years ago 
where I was just sitting in the plane here. I was just sitting in the plane, and but the side of the plane, I was in this plane. I believe it wasn't any other passengers in there, but the side of the plane was open. It's like the door was open. And so, you know, on the back of your, your seat, it's like my, my seat was kind of elevated high, like it was a high seat, but it was my, my seat, my plane seat. And all of a sudden, the the back of my my back seat here, because it was like a, a square shape, all of a sudden it changed into like eagle claws. I realized it was, it was a claw on each side. It's like, <laughs> it's like a claw on this side and a claw on the other side of me. And that eagle picked up my, my seat <laughs> and flew out the plane. <laughs> and I remember this eagle flying with me, with my seat, with my seat, just me. And I do remember a woman that I, I don't remember anyone in there up, up until me flying out of this, this plane with this eagle. But she walked right to the tip of it because the side was open and she was just looking in amaze. She was like, yeah, I, I, I still don't get it today. But I, I woke up and I'm like, wow, what does that mean? But Spirit has always been, been showing me that I am elevating. I am flying high. I am soaring. You know, like Spirit deals with me in my dreams. And I know when it's real and it's about to happen because I wake up with that same energy. I remember it. I don't have to struggle to figure out the dream. It's right there. I I, I can feel and taste and, and sense every part of that dream. But this plane, once again, as a journey is indicated either physically or metaf metaphorically, your life will become more full. So see, my spirit guides have always been, been teaching me and leading me, even though I did not understand. And I'm sure for the, the majority of you Scorpios, you've been having the same type of experience. It may not be this kind of way, but intuitively, your spirit guides have always been showing you uh, just how full and uh, fulfilled your life can be and will be. And of course, this eagle, I mean, like, like I say, it's the eagle that snatched me out the plane. I'm telling you, it was a big ass eagle that flew my chair, my seat out of that plane. And so this eagle says you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. So let me read these two cards right here. I didn't mean for two cards to come out, but since they came out, we're going to go on and read them in a way, Scorpio. So you have plane, you have eagle, and you have plane. Remember, each of these cards, <clears throat> excuse me, have dual meaning. So this eagle, oh, this is a long one. I hope this ain't for you. Oh, no, okay. So now this eagle, let's, let's begin with your personal relationships with this eagle card, Scorpio. It says a relationship that has been troublesome will either resolve itself and grow stronger or you will decide to let go of it. The eagle's power can also make you more charismatic to the opposite sex and your easy strength may attract many new suitors. See, <laughs> it's like spirits like, look, you, you, you elevating a lot of people that you used to know. You're not, you, you're going to be out of the, you're going to be too high and, and, and it's not to throw shade or arrogance. It's just that it's your elevation time. You put in their work and you have blessings specifically for you, Scorpio, but it says it's going to attract many new suitors with this energy of the eagle, Scorpio. Now, as far as your career, your money with this eagle, Scorpio, it says take a major leap forward in your life's progress. The potential to achieve greatness is yours, Scorpio. You could land your dream job or gain extra money from a pay, pay rise, a job offer, inheritance, or, or lucky win. Oof. Your charm on the work front may also help you snare that deal or finally receive recognition for past efforts here. So this eagle is going to take you a long way. You see, you see this eagle soaring. You're high, honey. You way up there in the clouds. And a lot of these people down here on earth, unless they can get up there with you, you ain't coming down for them. I'm just telling you because it's not for them. This is specifically for Scorpio. Especially if they did not put their work in with you, then spirits said they, they can't take that ride with you. They cannot elevate with you, Scorpio, because it's not about them. It's about you, Scorpio. Now, this plane energy. Now, dealing with your personal relationship, Scorpio, this plane, it says travel will bring love for singles. Uh, travel will bring love for singles and chance meetings will incite feelings that you may not have experienced for a long time. 
Try different holiday destinations and be inspired. Cruises are very auspicious for meeting that special someone. Family travel goes particularly well and is filled with fun and laughter. Great friends and lifelong happy memories are being made. This is your October's read, and this is your October love right here, Scorpio. Plain. You did this. This is what I did. This is pertaining to your your uh, your personal relationship. Now let's see what this plane represents for your career and your money. It says a new job is likely, and a course of study is also on the cards. You will finally find direction and uncover your purpose in life. It is best to get moving quickly, though. Action is needed as good times await. The plane also indicates that this is not a time to sit on the fence. Get things moving quickly. <laughs> you got to take action. Spirit say, look, I done set all this abundance out here for you. It's like spirit done set it in front of you. And it's like, what, what you going to do? That, that it is, Scorpio. Everything you've ever desired, here it is right here. I, I prepared a, a feast for you in the presence of your enemies. Now, now what you going to do? They can't be a part of it because it's not for them. They can't even afford to, to take this journey with you, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. Now, this is from your fortune. Now, this, ooh. Now, that, that's what that is, Scorpio. Now, let's move on. Let's pull your energy now. You have plane and you have eagle. This is your energy for your October love. Now, let's pull your energy here. Remember, you got the Spirit is telling you to pay attention to your intuition at this time. You're going to have a lot of deceitful people that may be coming around. You just, just want to be a part of your happy life. They didn't put in their work. They want to, look, they may want to get you at all costs. Or you just might have some hating energy around you, Scorpio. Spirit, show me this Scorpio's October love energy for Scorpio. Ooh. Broken heart, Scorpio. Now, I feel I don't feel like you're going to be broken heart, but if you are broken, Scorpio, it's time to heal it. I feel like you leaving hearts broken, Scorpio, because you you out of reach. You, you used to be approachable. You used to be attainable, but now you're, you're soaring high. You, you're doing things. Spirit tell you to take action because everything, it's like in October, everything you uh, put your action towards will be successful and turn out in your favor. And a lot of people are broken. Ooh, Scorpio, you leaving hearts broke, Scorpio. And I feel like you don't even care. Show me some more energy for Scorpio's October love spirit. Look, <laughs> you don't care because you got too many opportunities for you. You have so many options, Scorpio, in love, in life, in everything. They quite naturally, everybody can't go with us now, Scorpio. Everyone, look, somebody going to get hurt. You just hope it ain't you. Ain't they what the song say? <laughs> they say, look, it's, it, in love, somebody is going to get hurt. You just hope it's not you. Thankfully, this ain't you. This is not you. This is probably that person who was deceitful, Scorpio. They're broken. Because you have so many possibilities, so many options. Spirit is open. Look, spirit is open in every type of avenue for you. You got the ceiling open. You got the flow open. You got the walls open. You just got so many opportunities and possibilities for you, Scorpio. And it's leaving a lot of people broken because they can't be a part of this, Scorpio. Ooh, but spirit is telling you, trust your intuition. Because you got people coming back to you. They're they going to be low-key hating on you, Scorpio. But deep down, it's because they're heartbroken because you're no longer with them. That's what it's all about. That's why that deceit card showed up. They're going to be low-key hating on you, but it's only because they missed their opportunity with you. Look, yin yang. You got balance coming in. This is like a, a soulmate twin flame uh, uh, connection coming in. This is reciprocity. This is the masculine and the feminine energy. You're joining up with your match, Scorpio. It's coming in October. Your match is coming. That's why you got 22. And whoever didn't get it, look. <laughs> the temple pad. See, I love this, this card right here. Because this, this, this should calm your energy, especially if you're judging yourself where you're at now. Because Spirit wants you to know you're doing the exact same thing you're supposed to be doing. You're not behind time. You're not in a race. You're going to make it to your destination in the divine timing that Spirit has already set for you. Uh, don't get impatient. Don't look at anyone else. You're on your spiritual journey. This is what you do. This is for you. So, you know, don't ever get to doubt yourself and living in regret about past things because everything you did, everything we do, have done, and will do, is not by accident. It's a 
part of design planning. It's the thing that, that puts us on this temple uh, path because that's the only way you're going to learn your spiritual lessons and elevate spiritually here. So I feel like you're on the right path, Scorpio. This is why Spirit is opening up all these doors and opportunities for you, Scorpio. And you're going to make a lot of people... Make, look, the sun. Look. See? Look, this is abundance. This is happiness. This is joy. This is peace of mind. This is celebration time, Scorpio. This is you. So a lot of people are going to be mad and heartbroken because they can't be a part of this. They're going to be heartbroken because they can't be part of this. One more card, Spirit, for Scorpio here. Look, I'm going to take this and look on the bottom of the deck. You got blossoming abundance here. This is why they're mad, Scorpio. This, this, this is why people are deceitful and hating on you. And it's, it's only the X energies because they can't stop this abundance coming towards you. This is, this is all because of your temple path. This is your journey. It'll make sense in the end. You, you probably question yourself, why am I going through this? Why did I go through those things? Why, why, why? It's all a part of the temple path, Scorpio. It's to get, you had to go through these things to get you to this place because ultimately this is what you desire, Scorpio. And uh, Scorpio, a lot of people are, are heartbroken with you because you walked away from them. They're heartbroken because you walked away and, and you didn't walk away with your heart broken. And if you did, you healed it, but you walked away and you elevated Scorpio. That's the best choice that you made. And you got appreciation here. Look, <laughs> appreciation and you got goddess of the moon. So you tapped into your spiritual gift, Scorpio. You get a lot of recognition. A lot of people are, are, are watching you. you. You're rising above the rest. Spirit is, is elevating you. Spirit is the one that, that's going to elevate you, Scorpio. You don't have to do it. You just have to, to just follow your temple pad. Just be yourself. Spirit is going to do the elevating because you're tapped into that intuition. That's who you are. You're the goddess of the moon. You continue, you connected with it. Yes, you are. And as a result, people will know you. You will get the recognition. People will appreciate you. And I feel like this person probably didn't appreciate you in the past. So now they got to look at you elevate without them. And it's going to bring, look, <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> It's going to bring some haters out, Scorpio. Look, hostilities, envy, because really they're low-key heartbroken. But they can't stop nothing, Scorpio, because you are attracting a like-minded people. This is a boss energy coming towards you, man holding the coin. Look, look, you ain't even tripping about all this ex-past energy. People who are broken, who not healing, so they want to hate on you. Look at that envy and hostility. They mad at you, Scorpio. Meanwhile, you got boss energy coming towards you. Yes, you do. You got it, Scorpio. So let's move on to the other cause, Scorpio. This is amazing energy for your October love reading, Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. I really do appreciate that. Now let's let's dig a little bit deeper, Scorpio. Let's pull. Let's pull these romance angel cards here. So you got playfulness underneath the bottom of the deck. It's going to come a time where you're going to open up to someone because they're going to vibe with you. That's why the yin-yang card is there. And this person going to have money. The king, look, the man holding the coin. You look, you, you didn't just elevate to, uh, you didn't date down. You're elevating. So it's like everything that you're attracting is on your, is on your level. That's why you got that, uh, that ego here. But I feel like now is the time for you to really let your hair down and have some fun, Scorpio. Your birthday is about to come. Spirit is blessing you. Spirit is giving you all these different options. Spirit is opening doors and just clearing the path for you, Scorpio. I'm telling you. Spirit, show me some energy for Scorpio's October love. What's coming towards Scorpio for October love, Spirit? Show me. Keep an open mind. Oh, here we go with this. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations here. So I feel like you got a lot of pursuers after you. They're, they may not look like what you think they should look like, or you may prejudge this person, but Spirit telling you don't. Keep an open mind because you got new love coming in here. Look. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And this is 
October's love, honey. You got new love coming in for October. Spirit telling you to keep an open mind. You know you've been asking for your new love. Now, there it is. Now, don't your ass run it all. Because <laughs> they bald-headed. Because they got a receding hairline. Because they got a beard gut. Because they're not you. Because they're not your ex. Keep an open mind. Because this is going to be the one that's going to rock your world. Like I said, I feel love in the atmosphere, Scorpio. Somebody is going to fall in love with you. You're about to be in love. This is why it says new love. You're not focusing on the old no love. Now, some Scorpios are, but this so far is a new love. And I feel like a lot of Scorpios are about to get in, uh, in commitment relationships with new love. Meanwhile, the ex-love is going to be in, in, in your energy lurking and hating on you. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. It is safe for you to love. Scorpio spirit is telling you, open your heart to give and receive the biggest energy of all. It's telling you, look, you got to keep an open mind, but God damn, it's safe for you to love. Stop trying to think of reasons not to date this new person. <laughs> Stop trying to cancel this person out when it has, you ain't even gave this person time because you're going to miss out on a good thing because this new person, they're going to get your attention. They're going to stir every energy in you, Scorpio. You're going to have to give this person a chance because I feel like they're going to be so much like you, Scorpio. And then you're probably going to be remembering this where you're like, well, brown eyes said, the spirit said to keep an open mind. So let me see because I'm telling you, don't don't miss a good thing, Scorpio. That's all spirits tell you. Keep an open mind. I, I hear you manifesting heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So... The reason why this person, this new love coming in is safe for you to love, Scorpio, because they invest emotionally. They invest. They're not going to try to run games and hide shit. No, they're going to mean what they say. They're going to say what they mean to you, Scorpio. And it's out of love, Scorpio. Th this is what this new love is bringing in. They're bringing in partnership. They're bringing in unity and balance. You know how you used to holler at your person back in the day and try to talk to them and they act like they was half-assed listening to you? Not this new love. This new love is everything you desire, Scorpio. It's just going to be, it's just, a, in other words, you're going to have to compromise because none of us are perfect, including this new person. Because see, you deserve love. You are lovable. Scorpio, you deserve love. You are lovable. Yes, you are. So quite naturally, you attracted exactly what you desire, Scorpio. So spirit is telling you to let go of control issues. Don't try look, cause you got cause they your soulmate. Look, you got a new love soulmate coming in. But spirit telling you, don't try to look, don't try to run it. You know, <laughs> that's why spirit is telling you, keep an open mind. Stop trying to sabotage it. Stop trying to, you know, find fault with this new love. Just, just go with the flow. Keep an open mind because this is the one you've been manifesting with the soulmate card. There it says, yes, this is your soulmate, Scorpio. In October, you have a new love interest that is your soulmate. And Spirit is telling you uh, to keep an open mind and let go of control issues here. Look, there's going to be a lot of chemistry between the two of you. That's that soulmate energy because it says magnetic. You guys are going to be pushed. You guys are going to be uh, totally into each other immediately. And you're not going to understand why. And it's because you guys are soulmates. You know how you meet someone, a new person, and it seems like you've known them known them all of your life. You click like that. You, you can relax. You can really open up. Th this is why. This is why. Where the card? This is why you're going to be easily having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person because it's going to be like you guys have known each other all your life. It's going to be easy to confide and talk to this person. You know how that chemistry be there when you just vibe and you guys are like-minded, the energy is awesome. You find, you know, it's like you forget about the shit that you thought was a problem and you start looking really at the individual and not at the things. But this person right here coming in is your soulmate and there's going to be a strong spiritual connection between the two of you, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. You, look, go back and rewind this. I say new love, so don't, don't. And if you don't watch it, that's on you because you're going to miss your new love. Now, this love oracle cards here, you have coffin. You've ended a lot of things because people had outdated thinking. I feel like you, your spirit has revealed a lot of truths to you. You have clarity. You don't need this person to come in and say shit because you no longer have the passion. You don't feel the same way about this person here. Not today. You're not dealing with nobody here or, or somebody who didn't have time for you. Now they want to try to come back in. Look, someone feel like you don't want to deal with them. 
even though they want to reach out to you and tell you how much they love you. And this person right here is a soulmate too, Scorpio. This is an ex-soulmate because this is in reverse. So this is someone from your past that wants your attention, but you've already ended it with this coffin card. What a coffin card it? You've already ended this coffin with this person, this ex-person, because this person didn't want to make any changes. They didn't want to grow up. They want to keep on doing the same old ass shit. And Spirit said, okay, since they don't want to talk to you, then I'm going to show you everything you need to, to know in order for you to, to uh, get rid of this energy, uh, break yourself free from this. And in return, Spirit is sending you a new love here, Scorpio. And that's all I'm going to pull out of soulmates. Engagement ring. So someone's, look, <laughs> now, look, now this ex-person wants, wants an engagement with you. Look, this ex soulmate, the one who uh, know that you don't want to be bothered with them, now they want to commit me with you with this engagement rings. But you say, no, it's too late. It's not enough. I don't want your little ring. Take your ring back where you came from. I don't want your ring. I don't want nothing. Because you got paradise with a twin flame that's coming up with this new love here that's going to give you everything you desire in a relationship. Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Oh, Yes, Scorpio. Look, yes, universe, we'll take that. Now, let's move right along here, Scorpio. Now, let's pull some tarot cards and wrap it up, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, show me some more energy for Scorpio for October love. What is coming towards Scorpio for October? We've got Hermit at the bottom of the deck. I've already pre-shuffled and I did everything, Scorpio. So, you could have a Virgo in your energy for October, Scorpio. So, let's see. Spirit, show me some October love energy for Scorpio. So you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Somebody want to, somebody slowly wants to come your way, Scorpio, with this Knight of Pentacles here. It could be someone from your past. That's the only thing I can think of because it's slow. And I feel like it's this X over here because. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get it. Okay. I feel like it's this ex soulmate from your past. They want to come in and bring you a solid offer, but it's gonna take it's slow because they know you don't you're not talking to them. You probably got this person blocked. They know you're not dealing with them. So they can't bring you shit if they can't get to you, Scorpio. So I feel like this is why this Knight of Pentacles is showing up. Someone from your past wants to finally come bring you a stable solid offer, but you don't want it now. Especially since you got this new love coming in. Look. This person is, person is burdened down, Scorpio. Like I say, this that, that three of swords, uh, that heart, that broken heart energy in that energy oracle deck is the same person here. They're broken. They're, it's, it's heavy on them. It's a burden because they can't have you in their life, Scorpio. This person has plenty of burdens in their life, Scorpio. And it's you. Because it's like this person is focused on, look. <laughs> Now you got the Knight of Cups. Now this might be another person. Remember, you had adjacent possibilities. I feel like you have multiple, multiple, multiple pursuers and multiple, multiple opportunities here. Ooh, it's Knight of Cups. You got the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. But you sitting here uh, uh, looking ahead. I feel like you not, you don't want no F boy nothing. You don't want none of that. So I feel like you're choosing to turn your back on things that no longer serve you. You're going to keep on moving forward, Scorpio, because spirit is so good to you. You don't need nobody. You don't have to settle for that. Page of Pentacles. But somebody's going to reach out to you. Somebody want to talk to you. Now, Scorpio, you could be getting a, a good news about some money coming in, too. Because this could be you turning your back on all these irrelevant folks trying to come back in and or whether they old or new trying to come in and hit on you. But you can you your your focus is on different things. Your your focus is on your future here. And I feel like you're waiting. You could be waiting on some money here. And I feel like it's coming to you, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. The Four of Cups. A lot of people know that they've missed an opportunity with you, Scorpio. They're bored and unhappy in their life. This is why you see the envy, the hostilities, the broken heart, uh, and all that energy, and this Ten of Wands energy, because they've missed an opportunity with you, because they're not happy in their own life. And you're not, you, you've ended it with this coffin energy. Look, like I said, that love call card is in reverse, so you're not accepting calls from this person. You don't want to hear that shit. We're here for what? You've already heard that before. You, you're elevating now. 
It's like your energy is totally different now. They didn't mess around and let you grow. Now you got the two of swords here. So you may have to, you may be in a dilemma where you're going to have to choose who you want to be with, Scorpio. Eight of Cups, but you show sure walking away from people. You're walking away from a lot of people, Scorpio, that you already know is a waste of time for you. And you're focusing on things that make you happy, which is that man holding a coin, as well as that new love, which is your soulmate, Scorpio. Ooh, wait, Scorpio, because you got abundance all around you. You remember you got the eagle and the plane. Eagle, you will soon, uh, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. You, you look, you ain't stopping. You, you too high. You got plain. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Now, this is what's in front of you. Because you remember, you turned your back on people and you're looking ahead. And looking ahead is what, what is sitting in front of you, this plain energy as well as this ego energy. So quite naturally, you turning your back and you walking away from that bullshit. You're like, I don't want to hear that. Don't try to call me. I don't want to talk to you. Well, well, what? Well, what could you possibly say that I want to hear that's irrelevant, that's relevant to my life when I am elevating on my own? I don't need you. I don't need you. You got the page of cuffs. People want to come in and apologize. <laughs> People want to come in and tell you they sorry, Scorpio. Whew, but it's too late. Show me this. Look, now you got the strength card. I feel like you are in your power. You're in your power. Let me, what was this card that they say power? Strength. It says strength. This ego energy is what's pushing you to your strength because it says you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. And now you got the strength card. Look, you bad now, Scorpio. You you empowered now. You you fu you fully in control. You are powerful. You got power. You got strength. So quite naturally, you you too strong. Look, everybody else that's coming to you wrong, Scorpio, they weak. They're weak compared to you, okay? So you you're making a good judgment call because they're not compatible with you now. No one is compatible with you. The world card. Look, you're about to do a lot of traveling. You're about to go global or you're about to do a whole lot of travel. But you know a lot of cycles have completed. You let them complete with this eight of, uh, with this eight of cups. It, it, these cycles are over. So you're like, well, what you, what you keep coming back for? And, you know, now I'll talk to you for what? It's like whoever you have on block, if you run into them on the street, they're going to be like, I tried to kind Why you got me on block? And you like, well, why not? What do you want? What could you possibly want? I mean, you know it's over. You ain't been investing with me. We don't hang out. We don't do nothing. <laughs> Shit. So why do you care that you blocked? What do you want now is, is what I feel. Because you look, because they can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> they know it's over, but they can't stop thinking about you, though. They know it's over, but they still cannot stop thinking about you. This person about to go insane. All they can do is low-key hate on you, Scorpio, because either they know or energetically they feel like your energy is being pulled. Look, you've been manifesting your ass off, Scorpio. Yes, you have. You, you, you got soulmate coming in here. You got a new, uh, beautiful, abundant love, and you got money coming. You got abundance coming in here. got the hangman in reverse so someone is having a change of perception here about you or maybe you've changed your mind maybe you say you know what i thought i was in love with you i'm sorry there's, there's really no need for you to keep calling me because i mean i needed to heal i thought that i'm sorry i thought that i was in love with you i, I didn't know it I, I just didn't know it here uh but i realized that really i really needed to heal and love myself here you done changed your mind about a lot of these people. Look, they go that competition. You gonna have people that's gonna be fussing and fighting over your attention, Scorpio. They are. You gonna have multiple people calling you trying to. I, I can hear. I can hear like some of your pursuers could be talking to you like, "What you got a man? Man, your man ain't shit. What? What? You got a girl? Screw her. You know, it's like they don't care. They they want you anyway. They willing to fight. <laughs> And whoever the sour puss ex soulmate is, they know that they're going to have to fight for you, Scorpio, when they used to have you all to yourself. Look, all these negative cards coming out is not you. It's your person, Scorpio, the ex soulmate, Scorpio, that wants you back even though you got new love coming. They feel let down and discouraged now, Scorpio. 
I'm not even going to clarify these because I, I see what it is. You over here manifesting. Look, because you already know what they about, Scorpio. That's why you see deceit here. This, this, this exo may, or it could be, you got multiple people coming in towards you, but you, you already going to be able to, 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 uh, to, to tell who, who's full of shit or not. So you look, you got this ex feeling like you done did them wrong, but in all actuality, they doing wrong with the seven of swords. When I see that seven of swords, I feel like justice here. Look, justice. You could be dealing with the Libra. You could be dealing with the Pisces here. And you got strength. You could be dealing with the Leo. These are the major arcanas here. There's not many. You got... When it deal with your person in front of the past, there's not major arcana. When well, you got the world card here. So you had the justice, magician, strength, and the world card here. And the hanging man. So you do got some here. So th this is this, this is a, 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 a unprecedented time for this person, Scorpio, because I feel like this is this this is this is vindication for you, Scorpio. But it's but it's uh it's showing this ex that they should have did right by you, Scorpio. Because now, oh my goodness, now, Scorpio, look, because look, all they do, you, all you do, you, <laughs> look, the page of swords. All you have is people watching you. They watching you. That's all they do is watch you, Scorpio. They watch you. That's all they do. And see, when I see the page of swords next to the seven of swords, I feel like you may have someone under some type of fake accounts here. So be mindful if you're on Facebook, whatever social media you are, someone who is too friendly you know, too nice, you know, really trying to feel you out, especially if, if you don't know them, you know, I pay attention to that because they, 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 they being fake because they, I feel like you've been communicating with one of your exes the whole time, Scorpio. Cooey. Seven of Pentacles. You got growth, Scorpio. All of this labor with this magician card and this seven of Pentacles, Scorpio, you've been manifesting some things. You've been uh, sewing. You've been sewing correctly, Scorpio. This is why you're going to get a very good increase out of your life, Scorpio. That's why you got justice here. Spirit is about to elevate you in an amazing, amazing way here. Then you're going to have people that want to be a part of you. You look, people are just going to be given to you, Scorpio. Six of Pentacles, this is the merchant being generous. You're going to have people that's actually doing things for you, Scorpio, without you even asking. I'm telling you, let's say you at the store or something. Somebody's going to be showing you kindness here. You're not going to be asking for it because the, the Pentacles is money. You're not going to need it. This is when they're going to start doing it. This is just, this is just extra. Because it's showing you, you the shit. It's showing you the spirit got you with the six of pentacles. Look, could be dealing with the cancer here. See, Scorpio, you're moving forward confidently, victoriously, triumphantly, Scorpio. You're not looking back. That's why you got the eight of cups here. Look, that's because you that chick, I say. That's because you are the empress here. So you only get one time to abuse the empress because the empress knows her worth. The empress knows her worth. You cannot shortchange the empress now. You get in trouble with the empress. And the, the quickest way to get bad karma is to walk on the, the father's gift to you. And that's exactly what you were to. Uh, that's what you will be to whoever you meet. And that's who you've always been to whoever you met, Scorpio. But if they did not do right, Scorpio, because this is how they got to come to you. They got to come with reciprocity, fairness, equal give and take. They got to spoil the empress because you are divine, Scorpio. But if they come and they mishandle you, Scorpio, then they're going to reap karma Scorpio and this but I feel like they're doing this person got the ten of wands this person got the nine of swords this person is in uh, this person is, is stalking you with the page of swords because they're sneaky and I and they got the ten of swords nine of swords I feel like their sneakiness is that they're low-key watching you and you don't even know it I don't feel like they're trying to sneak in and do something in the relationship because I feel like most Scorpios not even giving them the chance to be in a relationship to do this shit again. But like I said, I feel like this, the sneakiness and the lying comes with, they're watching you, they're communicating with you, and you don't even know it's them. I'm telling you, that's what it is. One more card for Scorpio's October love spirit. What's the possible outcome for Scorpio? More energy specifically for Scorpio or this new love spirit. Show us. Two of Pentacles here. So someone may have a lot on their plate here. 
Someone, Scorpio, you may be about to get very, very busy because you do have a chariot here. You're going to be multitasking. You're going to try to take care of everything else. Or is there somebody coming towards you, Scorpio? It's not the new love. It's the old love. The old love is hating on you because they got money problems. With this two of pentacles and this five of pentacles. Ooh, Scorpio, they hating on you because they shit ain't, ain't good. Scorpio, meanwhile, yours is. That's not new love. Look, you got communication coming in or you got some traveling coming in with this eight of wands. Look, now you got the knight of wands. <laughs> you got the knight of pentacles, the knight of cups, and the knight of wands. This is just through. Now, you may have a knight of wands that is about to reach out to you and talk to you, Scorpio. You got a lot of people. You got this knight of pentacles. You got this knight of of, of of cups but look ultimately what everybody is trying to do is look let me show you what what, what, what you got then i'm gonna wrap it up this is all your people here look you see all them knights they all trying to get to the empress let me put raise you up just a little bit higher this, this, this is you got three people that's trying to get to you scorpio one of these persons here is a vindictive, hateful, going through karma ex. And the other two people could just be someone who's just going to come into your life in the month of October to try to holler at you. But you're going to be very, very selective because remember, you're the empress. You ain't finna hang with no knights. You don't even want a king. The empress is waiting on her emperor. Get into it. Now, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Now, this is your, uh, let me see. Do I got any, what? I'm sorry, Scorpio. I should have had everything prepared, but I did not. All right, let's pull a couple of cards from uh -oh, uh -oh, from your ask your angels guides here, Scorpio. Let's do a couple of these real quick. Let's see what spirit wants wants you to do or messages. Spirit, show me some messages for Scorpio's October love spirit and all these. All these many, many pursuers coming towards Scorpio. What messages do you have for Scorpio's October love, Spirit? Show me. Messages for Scorpio's October love, Spirit. What do you have for Scorpio? Like you try to get <laughs> once them ex, once the, once that that hateful ex soul may come up. It's like it's hard to get their energy at. It's ask, ask your angels is at the bottom. So it's like introspect. Ask your spirit guides. Ask your ancestors here. If you got questions, ask. Don't, don't worry about it because you connected. Look at that. You can have all the answers you want. All I got to do is ask. All right, spirit. Show me some answers or some messages for Scorpio's October love. Meditation brings answers. See, this is part of your spirit, your uh, your your path here, your spiritual path here, your temple path. Meditation brings answers, Scorpio. Go within. You know how to get it. This is why you got the magician card, because you, you know how to work that shit, Scorpio. And you don't even have to go outside your body. It says be assertive. You remember this other card say you're going to have to take action. You remember that. So Spirit is telling you take action. Be assertive. Look at her. She ain't scared. She ain't worried about shit. Look at them colors. Spirit telling you be assertive. Take action, Scorpio. Once you meditate and get the answer, Spirit telling you you react to that. You act on that and be assertive. Because the outcome is yes for you anyway. You got yes energy, Scorpio. Spirit is telling you yes, you're victorious. Yeah, you're abundant. Yes, you're going to get your lover that you desire here. Compromise. You're going to have to compromise, though, Scorpio. And I feel like this compromise here is um, stay optimistic about your, about your love life or uh, uh, stay optimistic. You, uh, you know, your soul may, may be different from your usual type. You're going to have to compromise. You know, they may not be tall. Whatever the thing is that, that, that you would like to be different. Spirit said so you're going to have to compromise because no one is perfect, Scorpio. No one. Not including, even including us. None of us are perfect here. But they're good enough for you because Spirit is sending this person to you. And it says in the near future, Scorpio, you're going to meet this new love, this new soulmate, Scorpio, in the near future, Scorpio. Okay? So this is your October love reading, 
Scorpio, ho, ho, yeah. I hope this video resonates with you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. You are everything to me, and I appreciate each and every one of you, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, if this video resonates, please thumbs up this video, share it, like, leave me a comment, hit that notification bell, Scorpio, for all. And Scorpio, my darling Scorpios, I will talk to you on the next video. Bye, Scorpios.